Hello folks, today we are going to open up a little Pokemon Brilliant Stars build and battle box. These bad boys were available exclusively at the pre-release event for the new Pokemon uh, Brilliant Stars release. Um, I'm pretty excited. In here you get a 40 card ready to play deck um, which has a full promo in, uh, four boosters as well so I'm quite excited to open these and for being a part of the pre-release event you also get three uh, tasty boosters. Um, so I am uh, I'm interested to have a look actually. I have historically had kind of bad luck with with uh pokemon pools for the last couple of sets um really not very good um so i'm hoping brilliant stars might have some goodies in there i have not really looked at anything that's um gonna be in this set i've kind of avoided spoilers and stuff so i will be looking at these for the very first time um so let's do this let's open up this Okay, here we go. We have this lovely artwork featuring, of course, Charizard and uh, Arceus, I believe that is. Um, I have been playing uh, Arceus Legends recently. I've torn my hands away from that to open this Brilliant Stars box. Um, some people call him Arceus. I think Arceus sounds better, so that's what I'm going to stick with. So here is our little uh, pre-prepared deck. Obviously, we got the Leapard um, promo in there, which is fine. Um, I never really know what to expect from those little decks. Like I said, I like to avoid the spoilers. Um, and obviously, they're not going to give you anything like insanely powerful, because the idea is that you then play with that deck at the pre-release event. Um, which are now slowly coming back which is all good so let's have a quick look i won't go through this one it's in a super amount of detail because it would it, it, i'm more excited about the boosters there we go oh i like the energy cards oh it feels like it's been a while since we've seen a real change in the energies i like that a lot uh, okay we have a gloria trainer in there friends in galar that's very cute um we've got cynthia's ambition a copycat bruno barry Oh, quite nice art on Purloin, actually. There's another Lee Pod. I really like that artwork. That's very feels very Gotham City. Burmy. Oh, I hate that that thing. Hideous little creature. Oh, Mothbim, the worst. I do not like moths. Uh, Bidoof, who is a good boy. Very cute art on that. Bibarel, of course. Turtwig is pretty cute. Grottle's pretty cute. Torterra's pretty cute. So that is obviously a leaf energy leaf deck grass deck sorry i should say um it's my age it's my age showing from pokemon back in the day um although i must say i'm not entirely sure how the dark cards then fit into that oh i guess because they're you can use any energies on them can't you um yeah that makes more sense so there we go there's your little pre-made deck which is what i would normally be battling with Let's just jump straight into these boosters. You know that's what we're all here for, is the boosters. So, let's have a look. Right, okay. Starly is at the front. Very cute art. Get rid of the code. Move them about. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. Okay. First up, we have our Dark Energy, which, again, I really like this. This Obviously, these are like the brilliant stars' energies. I love them. Okay, we have Tropius. Uh, Morgrem, that's good. I collect Morgrems in that evolution line. Claydol with the most intense Pokemon artwork I think I've ever seen. Good God, Claydol. Uh, there we have the Starly, Milsery, Carablast, Cute Clefairy, Cherubi, and Reverse Hollow Starly. And then we have a Hollow Lucario. Um, not my favourite Pokemon, but I know a lot of people love him, so that's pretty cool. Let's go for our next booster. Have we got in here like i said i'm going in completely blind to this so I, I feel like i'm like i'm not even particularly hoping for something i have certain collections so um certain common cards are interesting to me as well um if they fit in my collection so there we go we've got our steel energy we have a weevil that's pretty cute again like city vibes dusclops love that need that another morgrim shinx which I also collect. That's super cute art. We have an Impidimp. I collect those as well. So that's pretty good. Um, we have a Golet. A cast form. 
cute artwork. That is some interesting design. Um, we have Chimcha munching down on fruits and berries, a reverse hollow star you, and oh, a Charizard V. That's quite a nice pull for our second booster in. I'm digging it. Who doesn't love a Charizard? Um, nice. Nice, Charizard V, and not complaining about that. It's pretty good for my second booster. This is already beating like my last like few pulls of from from the last couple of sets. So I'm I'm pleased with that so far. And like I said, some of the common cards in this fit seem to fit within my collection, so that's always nice. Um right, let's get rid of the code. It's a white border one. Move these about. Right, so we have another steel energy. And we've got another Dusclops, another Morgrim, Gebites, interesting art choice on there, uh, Carablast, a Boizel, that's very cute artwork on that Boizel, I like that a lot. Uh, we have a Horlucha, again, interesting art style, okay. Uh, a Throw, I like that art actually. Uh, Magmar, don't love that, but... You do you, my guy. Uh, we have a reverse hollow cast form, again, with this interesting anatomy. And then we have a Clefable. Um, that's quite a cute card, quite cute artwork. For some reason, that is, like, throwing me back to the first gen Pokemon for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's a colour thing or a text thing. I don't know. That just, like, hit me. Um... Right, let's let's keep going. Another white border. So let's hope for something good in this uh, booster. This is the last one from the build and battle box. We have a psychic energy that I think looks wicked with that effect. Uh, Torkoal, snooting out some dust. Double turbo energy, nice. It's always nice. Probopass, who is just... I caught one of those in Arceus the other day. Just bizarre. Uh, we've got another Bidoof. Electabuzz, I'm quite a fan of him, so that's cool. Another Horlucha. Another Boizel. A Gibble. We have a Reverse Hollow Minchino, which actually has quite cute art as well. I like that, the little dust clouds. Uh, and then, oh, that is very good for me. We have a Grim Snarl. Um, like I said earlier, that fits with my collection personally, so I love that. Um, love me a little Grim Snarl. That's really nice art, actually. Um, so pleased with that, actually. You know what? Not too bad. So we've then got our three additional boosters. Um, by pure chance, I grabbed one of each artwork. So let's start with this one. Let's have a look. What have we got in here? Now that I've moved the code. Get those out of the way. Right. We have water energy, beautiful sparkly thing. We have Torkoal again, another double turbo energy, another Probopass, pass, uh, Milsery, Shinx, uh, Impudimp, Golet, uh, another cast form, Reverse Hollow Grottle, it's not too bad. Oh, and then Mothim, who I don't like. Obviously, that must be like rare-ish like not common I don't know for it to be at the back of the pack I don't know that felt too common to be there but it's obviously not maybe it's just because I hate Mothim <laughs> uh, right next pack let's do this let's get the code out of the way shuffle these about uh, right we have steel energy we have got Barry Clang that's quite nice artwork for Clang actually I must say uh, Cynthia's Ambition we have Sork which is kind of nice we got Throw earlier Corfish, that's cute artwork, I like that. Gola again. Uh, Chimicho, that's quite nice artwork actually for that as well. Chimchar with his berries. I think there's something. <gasps> oh, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I love that. I don't, oh my god. I guess it's a, I guess it's a like trainer art flareon, I guess you'd call it. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't been looking up spoilers for this. Um, but that is beautiful. I collect evolutions like a whole lot of people do. Um, so this is amazing. And like I said, I've been getting awful pulls. So that has made my day. Uh, and then we have a Kling Lang at the back. Who cares about that? I just like this Flareon's beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm so pleased with that. Okay. Last packet is the Charizard pack. I feel like I, I can get anything now. I don't mind because I've got that Flareon. <laughs> 
All right, let's get rid of the code. Shuffle these boys around. Then we have Fire Energy, which looks wicked. Friends in Galar, Probopass again. Team Yell's Cheer, which I quite like. I'm glad to see Team Yell again. I love their aesthetic. We have a Piplop, a Turtwig, nice. Uh, Minchino again, Carablast, a Buizel, Reverse Hollow Ultra Ball, which is cool. And, oh, oh my god, yes! Okay, we have a Gramble V, which I feel like wouldn't excite a lot of people, but excites me because Snubble and Gramble I collect. They're one of my favourite Pokemon. <laughs> um, so actually, you know what? This wasn't a bad haul for me. Um, like I said, I've had horrible luck from the last couple of sets, so I am really pleasantly surprised with this. I really wasn't expecting much. Um, I've kind of just got used to my Pokemon luck being horrible. Uh, but yeah, that actually was quite the quite the result for me um even if it is just for me because so many of those pokemon are in my collection um that flareon is is something else though i'm really pleased about that um that's super cool mm, yeah i like that a lot i think there's going to be some gorgeous cards in this i probably will go and look up some other stuff now i've opened mine i just wanted to go in for my first lot completely fresh um let's just grab out the other ones there we go so i would say out of the lot these are probably my favorite pulls um but there's some really good commons for me in there as well uh we've got that hollow lucario that train art flareon that's like the full art and shiny it's everything gramble v and charizard v wicked i'm happy with that so um please let me know in the comments if you guys um pulled anything good from brilliant stars or if you're waiting for the general release in a couple of weeks um thank you guys so much for watching um you can swing down to geek retreat chelmsford to take part in the pre-release uh, this weekend while stocks last or in a couple of weeks for general release or anytime in between to get your pokemon goodies cheers bye Bye.